हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल लैपटेक वर्ल्ड माय सेल्फ किशोर वाघानी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एच पी दैट इज हिमाचल प्रदेश टाक सिलेक्शन कमीशन लैब टेक्नीशियन एग्जाम क्वेश्चन पेपर दिस एग्जाम वॉज हेल्ड ऑन इलेवेंथ ऑफ मार्च टू Before starting the solution of this question paper, I would like to request if you are visiting our channel for first time, then please subscribe our channel Lab Tech World and press the bell icon to enable all notifications for our next upcoming videos. Because in this channel we are regularly uploading the videos of MCQs, previous year question paper with solution, that is going to be very helpful for those who are preparing for the upcoming lab technician exams like SMC, AMC, and RMC lab technician exams. Talking about this HPSSC Lab Technician Exam Question Paper, this question paper contains total two hundred MCQs or questions, out of which one twenty questions are related to the lab technician field and twenty eighty questions are related to the general knowledge. Here we will discuss only lab technician field related questions. Let's start the question number first. There is question number seven. Lungs are situated in options are A buccal cavity, B pericardial cavity, C thoracic cavity, D abdominal cavity. Fact available for this question it is the lungs are a pair of spongy air filled organs located in on either side of the chest or thorax. The trachea conducts inhaled air into the lungs through its tubular branches called bronchi. The bronchi is then divided into smaller and smaller branches that is called bronchioles finally becoming microscopic so we can say lungs are basically situated in thorax or thoracic cavity so we can say option number 3 thoracic cavity will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 8 mercury is generally used in thermometer because it has option a high fluidity b high density c high coefficient of expansion d high specific heat fact available for this question it is most metals are good conductor of heat and they are solid at room temperature mercury is the only one that is in liquid state at room temperature it is used in thermometers because it has high coefficient of expansion hence the slightest change in the temperature is notable when it is used in the thermometer so we can say because of its high coefficient of expansion it is used in the thermometer so option c high coefficient of expansion will be the correct answer for this question Move to the next question number nine. Antifreeze is a mixture of option A, acetic acid and water; B, formic acid and water; C, methyl alcohol and water; D, ethyl alcohol and water. Fact available for this question: It is antifreeze is a substance often as a liquid, such as ethylene mixture of ethylene glycol or alcohol mixed with another liquid, mostly with water, to lower its freezing point. So we can say. Antifreeze is a mixture of ethylene glycol or alcohol with water. So we can say option number D, ethyl ethyl alcohol, and water will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number forty. The blood vessels which carries oxygenated blood to the liver is option A, coronary artery; B, pulmonary artery; C, carotid artery; D, hepatic artery. One of the easiest question fact available for this question it is. the liver receives a blood supply from two sources the first is the hepatic artery which delivers the oxygenated blood from the general circulation and the second is the hepatic portal vein delivering the deoxygenated blood from the small intestine containing nutrients so we can say it is hepatic artery that is option number 4 that carries or carries the oxygenated blood to the liver so we can say option d Hepatic artery will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number forty-one, which is the organ that excretes water, fat, and various catabolic waste. Options are A. Kidney, B. Skin, C. Spleen, D. Salivary gland. Fact available for this question it is the kidney are the organs that serves several several essential regulatory roles in most animals, including humans. they are essential in the regulation of electrolytes maintenance of acid base balance and regulation of blood pressure via maintaining the salt and water balance they serve the body as a natural filter of the blood and removes the waste like urea creatinine and undigested fat so we can say it is kidney that excretes the water fat and various catabolic waste of the human body so we can say option a 
kidney will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 46 which is the type of authorization granted to the covishield and covaxin vaccine covaxin vaccine as a as of on january 2022 options are a emergency use authorization b conditional market authorization c essential market authorization d full market authorization fact available for this question it is the drug regulator on january 2022 granted serum institute of india of for covishield vaccine and bharat biotech for covaxin covid 19 vaccine conditional market authorization for the country's adult population this means that it should be used in public health emergencies like pandemic provided the regulator based on initial data from the phase 3 of clinical trials determines that potential benefits of the vaccine when used to prevent covid 19 outweigh its potential risk so we can say it is conditional market authorization that is granted to the both this vaccine on january 2022 so we can say option number b conditional market authorization will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 48 the functions of digestive system in the humans including all except options are a propulsion b secretion d c absorption d mechanical support Fact available for this question it is the six major activities of the digestive systems are ingestion, propulsion, mechanical breakdown, chemical digestion, absorption and el elimination. First food is ingested, chewed and swallowed. Next muscular contraction propels it through the alimentary canal and physical break it down into the tiny particles which is then absorbed in small intestine and rest is excreted in the feces so we can say it is mechanical breakdown not mechanical support that is the one of the vital function of the digestive system so we can say option d will be the correct answer for this question rest of the three propulsion secretion and absorption all are the functions of the digestive system so here option d will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 49 largest salivary gland in human body is options are a parotid b submandibular c sublingual d none of these fact available for the salivary gland it is in human there are three salivary glands of three pairs of the salivary gland the two parotid glands or a pair of parotid gland is near the ear which is the largest salivary gland second is the sublingual gland it is under the tongue and lastly it is the submandibular gland it is the shape of u it is un under the chin bone that you can see in the given figure so we can say it is parotid gland that is the largest salivary gland so we can say option a parotid will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 50 esophagus has the following epithelial lining options are a transitional epithelium b columnar epithelium c non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium c cuboid epithelium fact available for this question it is the esophageal lining is protected by the stratified squamous epithelium because this epithelium it normally not exposed to the dryness or to the abrasion so it is as it is non keratinized so we can say the epithelium lining of the esophagus are non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium so we can say option c will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 51 bile is produced by option a liver b gallbladder c both a and b d none of these fact available for this question it is bile is a fluid that is made and released by the liver and stored in the gallbladder the bile helps helps in the digestion it breaks down the fatty fats into the fatty acids which can be taken into the body by the digestive tract so we can say it is mainly produced by the liver so we can say option a liver will be the correct answer for this question move to the next question number 52 non ciliated pack cells are found in option a uterus b cns c fallopian tube d stomach fact available for this question it is a PAG cell is a non ciliated epithelial cells 
within the uterine tube or oviduct or fallopian tube. These cells are also known as the intercalated or intercalary cells. These cells represent one of the one of the three epithelial cell types found within the normal fallopian tubes epithelium and are the most infrequent less than 20% of the total cells of the epithelium. So we can say it is generally found in the fallopian tube. So we can say option C fallopian tube will be the correct answer for this question. Move to the next question number 53. The cells found in cervical smear in cytology includes all except option A superficial epithelial cells B intermediate epithelial cells C parabasal cells D kupfer cells fact available for this question it is the cells found in the cervical smears in cytology include superficial epithelial cells intermediate epithelial cells and parabasal cells talking about the kupfer cells kupfer cells are the resident macrophages found in the liver comprises the largest population of the resident tissue macrophage in the human body that you can see in the given figure various types of the macrophages found in different with different name in the different organs in liver they are known as the kupfer cells so we can say it is kupfer cells that are found to be present in the liver rest of the three are found in the cervical smear in the cytology so we can say option d kupfer cell will be the correct answer for this question that's all for you today thank you for watching the video please subscribe our channel lab tech word and press the bell icon for the our latest video notification and if you like our work then like and share our videos with your friends who are preparing for the upcoming lab technician exams thank you thank you very much